Here, let me help y'all. Let me help y'all. Let me help y'all. I'm gonna shut down right after this. Cause I know I did too much screaming. <laughs> Woo! Ah, thank you, Jesus. Ah. See, I have set before you today life and good, death and evil. In that, in, I, in that I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments, his statutes, his judgments, that you may live and multiply. And the Lord your God will bless you in the land in which you possess. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, the one I really want, but. <sighs> but if your heart turns away so that you do not hear and are drawn away and worship other gods and serve them I announce to you today that you should surely perish you should not prolong your days in the land in which you cross over the Jordan into possess there it is right there I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you. That I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life that both you and your descendants may live. Mm, 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 mm. I don't have a dog. I don't have a version. Oh, there it is. Hey. For y'all that didn't know, that was a... Uh, 30 and 15. Now I'm going to read you the last command out of verse 11 and 12. And I'm going to stop right there. Deuteronomy 30, 11 and 12. Now what I'm commanding you today is not too difficult for you or beyond your reach. It is not up in heaven that you have to ask. Who will ascend into heaven or get it or get it and proclaim to us so we may obey? Nor is it beyond the sea so that you have to ask. Who will cross beyond the sea so that you have to ask? No, the word is very near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart so that you may obey it. The choice is in your mouth. The blessing is in your mouth. The difference between what you've been dealing with and where things are about to go is in your mouth. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we put the proper words, the proper response, the proper answers in your people's mouths today. Let those words sit, soak, saturate in the soil of their minds and their hearts and grow so that living may no longer be a toil or a struggle but it will just be pleasing unto you. That living will no longer be a show or an attribute that men will admire. But it will be under your glory and satisfaction of you. Father, we sit back and we know that you promised us several things that are yet to manifest. And we apologize for coming to you in the wrong way. For coming to you with an attitude. For coming to you with a funky conscience. For coming to you saying, you ain't did nothing yet. Because we should trust you. We should just believe you and take you at your word. But sometimes, Lord, it's difficult for us. So I ask that you bear with us because you're a patient and merciful God. In the middle of transition and the process, be patient with us, oh Lord. We will get there. 
We confess it with our mouths now that we going to get there. That we will be in position to be a blessing instead of crying out for the blessing all the time. That Deuteronomy 28 will be not only a portion of our lives, but it will be living in our lives. That we will be a prophetic language for you. With our very lives, with our very speech, with our very actions, with our very thoughts. Saturate the questions today, Lord, so that we can get this thing out. See, you, you once told Isaiah, go ahead and get all your complaints out now. So we can reason this thing out. And we're not mad that, you, that the fact you're going to tell us that you're the God that created us. You're the God that created the earth. You're the God that got the master plan. You're the God that got the provision. You're the God that multiplies nothing and makes it into something. We're not going to get mad because we know that's what you're going to say. But sometimes we just can't hold our tongue. Thank you, Lord, for being a listener. Thank you, Lord. But we won't take that trash to somebody else. We're going to leave it on you. We're going to leave it with you. We're going to put it in your hands to do something with it. Because all you did throughout the Bible was take a bunch of rejects and make them a blessing unto somebody else. So for whatever we've been rejected of in this past season, in the seasons before that, or the seasons before that, or the seasons of our parents, or the seasons of our descendants, Lord, take that rejection and make it a blessing on us. No more band-aids in the spirit. We call on your bomb today. And we will obey. We pray it in Jesus' name. We declare it in Jesus' name. We confess it in Jesus' name. Amen. Any questions?